G'day! Welcome to another Curriculum Burst. This time let's do a question for the Great 8 exam. It goes as follows. What is the unit's digit of 19 to the 99th power plus 99 to the 99th power? Oh dear. Okay. Well, the first step in a problem-solving process is read the question, done that, and have an emotional reaction to it. And my emotional reaction to this one is, there's no way I want to work out 19 to the 99th power, 19 times 19 times 19, and so forth, and then do that again for 99 to the 99th power. So I'm going to avoid hard work. So let's see, what strategy could I employ here? Well, these numbers are too big. What I'm going to try to do is strategy number five, which is solve a smaller version of the same problem. And let's just be kind to ourselves. Instead of working with 19 to the 99th power plus 99 to the 99th power, let's just be what feels like a little bit silly and do the simplest, smaller version of this problem possible. What if I just made it 19 plus 99? No powers. And ask, what's the final digit of that? Well, I can actually do that. I should work out the sum quickly. All right, 19 plus 99. Uh, 9 plus 9 is 8, and then there's carries and stuff. Oh, stop there. If all I want is the final digit, let me avoid hard work. I've got the answer. The final digit's an 8. All right, that wasn't the question. But at least got me going. Um, what's another smaller version of this problem? Well, I guess I do need to have some powers. What if I did the problems with squares instead of 99ths? Can I work with that? All right, 19 squared I can work out. Um, let me just do it on the side. And I'm going to use a little rectangle method. I'm going to think of 19 as 10 plus 9, and another 19 as 10 plus 9. So there's a 19 by 19 rectangle broken into four pieces. Uh, this area here must be 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 10 is 90. 90, 10 times 10 is 100. Add up those pieces. But, since I don't want to do hard work, I'm going to avoid hard work, I can see right away hundreds, tens, the final digit here is a 1. This guy ends in a 1. In fact, without doing any further work, I can do the same thing with 99 here. I think it was 90 plus 9. I can see the same idea is going to work. This also ends in a 1. Ah, which means this number, 19 squared plus 99 squared, ends with a 2. I think I've got a strategy now. I bet I could work out the final digit of 19 cubed and 99 cubed, excuse me, and so on. I bet I can just see basic structures in the multiplications, not do all the hard work, and I'm able to get there pretty quickly. I might even be able to get up to 99th powers. So give it a try. And if you get stuck, uh, have a look at the Curriculum Burst essay that goes with this video. And if you don't get stuck, look at that essay in any case, see if our answers are the same. Plus there's a nice extension problem to this, uh, to this problem as well, worth looking at as well. Great. Have fun with it. Thanks for watching. For more Curriculum Inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.